All right, what is up, guys? Um, so this is something I was I was gonna I was gonna wait to do this, but like curiosity got the better of me. So as you can probably tell, I'm in the parking garage, and I'm going to be testing the multipath with the Cadex Vista. So I've got I've got my hyper low with the Vista. I've got my newbie drone vivid with the full-size air unit and i've got my emacs buzz with the fox ear toothless so i'm going to use this one with the analog and the tbs fusion as like my reference bear with me for a sec i know a lot of you guys already know this but i also realize that there are a lot of new people coming to my channel. There's a lot of new people coming to the hobby because of the DJI FPV system, which is awesome. That's, I mean, it's awesome to see you guys. It's awesome to see, you know, your questions on the channel. Um, so I'm just gonna give like a brief rundown of what multipath is. So when you fly in an open field or park or someplace with trees, the RF signal from your quad is just basically traveling forever or it's getting absorbed by the trees or it can even be like scattered by the trees but the um the main point is that it's just the signal's just dispersing and going away from the quad when you're in a hard area like a concrete parking garage the signal won't travel through the walls well and it'll actually bounce off the walls and when it bounces off the walls, it can reverse polarization and you'll pick that up as feedback in your receiver and it causes all kinds of like crazy crap. Um, so you'll see lots of like flashing and flickering and screen rolling and multipath is basically the worst type of video. And it's, it's bad in parking garages, it's worse in metal structures like stadiums, um, if you've got lots of bleachers like you know, I've gone to races inside of a hockey rink for GE2, and it was like some of the worst video I've ever experienced in my life. Metal, metal is really bad because it, you know, it causes even more reflection. So basically, multipath is something you only have to worry about if you're flying in or around a lot of concrete or metal. It's not something you really have to worry about in parks. So traditionally, something like the Fusion module which you know uses two antennas to blend the signal kind of gets rid of the multipath like that's the whole point of these modules these modules were invented to fight multipath now the dgi system takes it like 10 steps further and when when you have when you're in a multipath environment with the dgi fpv system it like thrives on the multipath and it performs better so like you'll see when i fly the vivid at least um that the signal is actually much clearer than it would be outside like there's it's just it's in, the, the the system is just insane it it takes that reflected signal and uses it and uh makes the overall image better now the question with the Cadex Vista is, you know, it's smaller and it only has one antenna instead of two, so there's gotta be some, some inherent downsides. And, you know, most of us can only speculate, and um, one of the main things that people are speculating is that with a single antenna, it's gotta have worse multipath performance. So that's gonna be the first thing that I test down here, or it's gonna be what I test down here. You know, I want to compare the range and like the penetration with trees, but the biggest question, at least for me, was how is it going to handle the multipath? And I don't even really know how I'm going to quantify it because, like I said, with the full size air unit, it's basically just perfect video. So, what that'll look like on the Vista, I don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the buzz on analog. Again, just to kind of show you guys what traditional multipath looks like. Okay, we'll get started. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, we're starting with the uh, the buzz on analog. Um, and I'm gonna start with the fusion in legacy mode. That's no like blending or anything. So hopefully you'll get a good idea of what multipath does to analog signal. And again, this is a Foxair Toothless. I got this for a review, but I didn't review it because I think it's defective. Like if you look in the video, there's like diagonal lines. Um, so I, I didn't think it'd be fair to review it because I don't, I don't think that's normal. Um, and I know it's not, you know, like the quad because this is the third quad I've put the camera on and it does it on like whatever I put it on. But let's see what this looks like. Okay, so you see like the flashing, it's actually not that bad. But you see that, that like flashing in the lines, that's all reflection and multipath. Yeah, it's not, it's not the worst example, um, but you'll see that when I switch it to fusion, that like all goes away. Seems to be really bad in that corner. Oh, it's because it's behind a wall. So. Okay, so this is fusion mode. So this should get rid of a lot of that noise and um, the reflections and whatnot. So you see there's still some like minor flashing, but in general, it's a lot better. Well, it's a little better. <laughs> Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's what analog looks like. Um, we'll switch to the Newby Drone Vivid with the full-size air unit and see what that looks like next. And then we'll do the, uh, the Caddx Vista last. All right guys, so this is the Newby Drone Vivid with the full-size air unit. You see both the antennas up front there. It's pretty cool how the, uh, the Infinity Stack has LEDs on it. It's too bad I'm not flying with anyone else right now. Okay, so I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run the same settings on the Vivid and the Hyperlow that are HD. 25 milliwatt, focus mode off, low latency, uh, same camera settings, same everything. Cause, so the only difference is like, you know, the actual hardware. System on, ready to fly, engines are. All right, we're recording. So if you look at this, and I, you know, I already knew, God, that just looks so amazing. <laughs> um, so you notice how there's no, there's no pixelation or, um, well, focus mode is turned off, but there's no pixelation whatsoever. Um, God, look at that dynamic range. That is insane. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of like, latency back there I could feel it even though I could feel I could feel the bitrate dropping it's still not degrading the image so I don't I don't like I I don't know how I'm gonna really be able to quantify multipath but we'll see what happens 
I just want to fly this because this this looks freaking amazing. Oh, it handles the light changes so quickly compared to the toothless. And again, this is at 25 milliwatt. Okay. Yeah, that just, uh, that just looks amazing. I've never, I haven't flown HD down here during the day. Like I just got off work. Um, I usually come down here at night so I don't have to worry about the, um, the light transition from day to dark. Cause it's really, it's, you can't tell, but it's really dark in this garage. But man, the, the HD system is, it's so impressive indoors. It's so impressive. Okay. Whew, let's see how the Catex Vista does. All right guys, so this is the uh, Hyperlow RS with the Catex Vista. Um, all the same firmware, all the same settings. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's, like I said, it's weird to, it's weird, it's gonna be hard to quantify because the Vivid with the full-size air unit in here, it's perfect. I mean, I don't know the um, telemetry I mean, you guys probably saw it if I included it. Um, but, you know, as far as the feeling and as far as the look, it, it's perfect at 25 milliwatts. So let's let's see what the Caddx feels like. Uh, it looks the same on the ground. Okay, recording. Okay, so far it feels the same. The cameras are the same, so that's gonna be the same, obviously. So far it seems to be just as good, so. Oh, my thumbs are getting cold. So down here, I noticed some like latency. Uh, it feels about the same. Again, I don't, I don't know the telemetry, but you guys will be able to know. I'll find out when I get home. <sighs> yeah, I feel like it's about the same. But this looks like freaking GoPro footage. So I don't think, uh, I'll summarize in a second. This is just insane. So down here in the far end, and mind you, I have a building in between me and the quad right now at 25 milliwatt. Like I can see that my bit rate is dropping 2019. Um, so I have a building in between me and the quad at 25 milliwatt, um, this, uh, this building right here this entryway. So, I mean, the signal doesn't even have direct line of sight, but it's still perfect. And then if we look out here at like the vegetation, you can see it's, it's still not really pixelating because it's using the reflections to make the, the image better. It's, it's insane. So, yeah, I guess, um, you know what, I'm going to unplug that because the, the Caddx overheats. <laughs> All right, so you guys saw it. Um, 
you know, we, we kind of thought that with a single antenna, the limitation would be multipath, but it really doesn't seem to be like having the single antenna does not seem to affect how the DJI system works. Um, cause it, it felt exactly the same as the full size air unit. Um, you know, maybe the, the telemetry tells a different story, but yeah, it felt basically the same. Um, and, and you can see flying in the garage where there's high multipath, high reflection. It just, it makes the image crystal clear. And like, even when I flew to the entrance and was looking at the bushes, it's still using the multipath to make it to where the image doesn't pixelate like it normally would when the when the signal's like scattering or whatever. That is how the Vista handles multipath. It it seems to be just as good as the full size air unit. So 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 yeah. So far, like I mean, I don't know what the limitations of the Cadex Vista are. I am still gonna do like some range testing and some like tree penetration testing like all my other videos. I guess, you know, a physical limitation is that it overheats and you can't use like the temp control feature like at all. I don't think, I haven't tried it. Like I turned it off after I built the quad. Like I haven't, I haven't even bothered to try it because it's the first time I plugged in, I had that warning saying that um, recording like wasn't enabled. So heat is probably like a big downside, but you know, you're trading heat for weight, but as far as performance so far, it seems to perform the same as a big air unit, even indoors. All right guys, so that was Cadex Vista versus analog versus full size air unit, multi-path test. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.